Hey, welcome back to another monthly recap video. This is April. Can you believe it, guys? We are in April. What? What were the formats in? Okay, then. April has 30 days. I watched 12 films. So let's get to it. First, I watched Clerks. This is Kevin Smith's first film, and it was made with, I think, less than $60,000 or around that price point. And I mean, you can tell it's very low budget, but you know, this, that's what makes it good. The story of how Kevin Smith really made this film is what makes this iconic. I think the characters are all really funny. They're all really unique. They're all, you know, they do, they do their own thing. I also really like how the story just unfolds, and I like how it has that, you know, seven layer of hell feeling to it because it's based off uh, Dangle's Inferno for, in some way. Again, it was made with no money. It, it made Kevin Smith who he, who he is. He gets all of his iconic characters like Jay and Sally Bob. And it's a good story overall. And I really love that ending where they say, well, not even supposed to be here. That's like one of the most relatable lines ever. If you ever worked a retail job and you get called in and shit happens. Next, I watched Atlantics. And I watched this film in my film class, and I can say that it is definitely a movie that exists. I mean, I, I, I get it. It's a African film with beautiful cinematography, uh, really good acting, actually. But the story just kind of lost me towards the end. It's about, you know, people uh, go off, the men go off, and they die in the boat, and they come back, and they possess the female um, people or the, the girls that they left behind. And I think that it has a really engaging plot, but it just really fumbles the ending in my opinion. And those people look so creepy with those eyes like that. I get what the film is trying to do. It's trying to be some message of, you know, people you should be you should be getting paid for your work basically that's that's the message that it's sending but it does it in just a weird way and then it's a love story also so that's part of the plot i think it's really convoluted at the end and i'm not uh for it again it's a beautiful looking film it looks nice it, it speaks truth the acting is great the story just really lost me at the end and uh, again i just don't see myself ever watching this film again then I watched The Worst Person in the World. Always gonna have some foreign films in my catalog, in my watch list. This is another foreign film that was made in 2021 and it's a really, really good story. It's two hours of this girl discovering who she is. Who does she love? Who does she like? What does she not like? Who does she not love? It's really a, a movie with no plot, basically. You just follow this girl in her like two years of just being 30 and in, in France. And I think it's done really beautifully. Beautifully. The acting is amazing. The cinematography is really beautiful. I think there's some really good lines here. It's really written well. The story is, you know, conveyed in a really good manner. It's straightforward. Then I watched Three Faces. Another film class film that I watched about this Iranian director who is, you know, he's locked up in his house arrest. As of right now, I'm speaking, uh, he made films about Iraq that obviously the country did not like so they gave him house arrest and he's making films in secret and this is one of his films okay let me first say that the camera and cinematography in this film is phenomenal there is like a 10 minute opening sequence where the it's just all one take where the, the girl and the guy are in the car and they talk and i don't know what camera they use but it couldn't really be that expensive because they don't really have that much money but the cinematography is beautiful it follows the girl as, her as she's talking follows the guy as he's talking and it's just it just goes back Back and forth back and forth it's actually really beautiful i'll try to find a clip if i find a clip of it i'll, I'll put it on the screen if i don't you know just watch the film and you'll know what i'm talking about but maybe don't watch the film because the ending really 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 again unfortunately these film class films always do this to me the ending lost me there was something missing in the ending i feel there was something that just needed to happen or maybe the film just stopped he does a gimmick where he basically like makes the film like it's happening in real time and it's not scripted but you know obviously it is that gimmick gets really old really quick again i think the acting is good the cinematography is great the story you know it, it, it's good in the beginning when they're trying to find the girl because they think she committed suicide so in the beginning of the film yeah it's it's solid it's, it's a good story it, it goes somewhere but then when it when it gets there when they find the girl it's like you know it's like eh, and then it, it, it draws on unfortunately these films a lot of them do that so that's that's one of the gripes I have on this film. Then I watched The Godfather. Yeah, guys, this is a perfect film. There's, there's nothing else to say. Marlon Brando is phenomenal in this film as Don Corleone. He is awesome. And so is Al Pacino as Michael. Yeah, it's really a, a, a rise to fame movie, I guess. It's, it's a rise to stardom movie. 
I believe how Michael becomes this, like, you know, honest uh, guy who doesn't want to be involved with the family at all, and how he transitions into a, the dawn, and how, you know, we see his, his progression there. And it's done really well. I mean, okay, Francis Ford Coppola is awesome. You, you know that. This is his first film. Not his first film, but one of his first films. It's a perfect story. It's a perfect screenplay. It is shot perfectly. The cinematography is amazing, especially the opening scene with Don uh, getting asked wishes because it was his daughter's uh, wedding day. Uh, again, it's, everything is perfect in this. Acting is perfect. The writing is perfect. The story is perfect. It is a perfect film. It, is it a little bit too long? Maybe, you know, three hours, you know, it's just a little bit. But besides that, hey, it's a gangster film. And it's probably the best gangster film I've ever seen. I gotta watch Goodfellas again. But that's that 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 was pretty good as well. But yeah, The Godfather. What did you expect? It's The Godfather. I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Well, I don't know if it was that short. But I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Good. Watch it. Enjoy it. Then I watched Apocalypse Now. Man, I've heard so much stories about this film. The behind the scenes stuff is insane. I actually really want to go back and watch a documentary that they made. You know, it was I think it was based off the book Heart of Darkness. That was the documentary is called. Yeah, you know, it's it's a crazy film. It's a it's a good film though. It's great. It's awesome. Uh, you know, the, the the city that they're in is really 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 good. Um, not that city uh jungle is it's awesome it's a good environment and they actually filmed in i somewhere in, in asia they filmed this and i know that uh, we could talk about the troubles of what happened behind the scenes uh, there's so many times but i'm talking about the film right now the film is shot perfectly it is acted great the story is actually really good although marlon brando is <laughs> fucking fat at the end of the film he does a really good job even though he's mostly in the dark i like how they fra they framed him like that maybe because it was because he was overweight but when they framed him like that it was pretty good i mean the the iconic shot of him coming out of the water like what guys that's great uh, this is a film that francis ford coppola uh, took a lot out of him to make you know co contemplating suicide and, and all that stuff but besides that he made a really darn good film it's not better than the godfather i i feel like the godfather is more be watchable if you know what i mean but this is a really really great film as well then I watched Civil War. Man, disappointing. I'm. It's 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 so so disappointing. I, I think that it was. It had a good premise. It stuck with its premise. And then as the premise was going on, I think it was it was good. And then we get the last thirty minutes or the last twenty ish, the, the third act basically, and the morals of our characters just go out the window. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it's a specific specific character who has very straight morals that it just feels like it. They just they just ripped it out. They just ripped it out for the last half and it did not make any sense visually it's great it's a 120 million dollar a24 film it's gonna look good the acting is great also as you really these films something about this month where the ending just just lost me from getting that extra star you know i gave it three stars on letterbox but man if it just stuck the landing a little bit it would probably would have got a four but besides that i mean it's 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 a film it will keep you tense a lot of tense moments it will definitely keep you away it's a lot of little jump scares with bullet holes so keep that in mind again it's not a terrible film but a film that I, I i desperately wanted to love and i didn't and that was a shame then i watched prisoners denny venu i think that's how you say it at least it's slowly but surely becoming one of my favorite directors of course he made dune dune 2 uh and now he made Prisoners, and that was a film that was really popular on TikTok. I saw a lot of edits of it, and I give it five stars because it is nearly perfect. This film, there, there has not been a film in a very, very long time, actually since Toon Part 2, that has just just taking a hold of me and just make me forget about everything around me just watch the film a film has not done that in so so long <laughs> dune part two actually and um Denis just just has just creates a story where you feel so bad for this character but then you don't care when he does really extreme stuff. It's bad stuff. It's really bad stuff. But the, then he builds his character that where you as the audience don't care that he's doing it because you know how much pain he is in. The film is masterfully acted by um, Jake Gyllenhaal. 
Hugh Jackman. You get Terrence Howard in there. Viola Davis is in there. Paul Dano is just it's it, it's acted beautifully. The story is really well well made, well done. The screenplay is great. You know, from 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 the ten minute mark, you get into it. And you still got a, two hours left after that. So yeah, uh, Denis makes a beautiful film, a great film, a compelling film. It's it's five stars. It's it's, it's almost perfect. You know what what holds it back? I guess the ending. I mean, I, I I I don't know. I me, mean, I really want to see if you know if, if Loki finds him, um, but I think the ending is like ambiguous in, in a good way. But uh, you know, trying to find faults in this film is maybe it has some pacing issues sometimes, but I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know, it's five stars, but you know, it's not perfect, but it's beautiful. It's great. I don't know if it's better than Dune Part 2, but if I have to compare it to Dune Part 2 and they're like kind of similar, then I think he's doing something right here. Then I watched Cry Baby. I watched this because my school was doing a musical of the same uh, name of the movie. So I, I watched the film just to get a basic understanding of what I was going to walk into when I went to the musical that my friends are in. And it was good. It was solid. Uh, nothing more to say about it. It's just a, a really funny teen raunchy movie um from the 90s johnny death is so funny in the role and it's so funny to see him in that role uh, but nothing much to say just a cute little film that gave me the the base knowledge for the musical but the musical was definitely better then i watched anatomy of a fall yeah this film really really stuck with me you know, uh, I haven't really seen any more court drama films. I don't think I have seen any, really. I really want to watch My Cousin Verdi. Um, But, you know, this is one of my first ones, and it was in French, so it was a French law film. And yeah, it's it's good. You know, the, the, you, the does she do it? Does she do it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she does, but the film has no intention to tell you that truth. The movie is about truth and how we see truth and how we formulate truth and how we have a mix mis a mixed conception of truth. How you know we think one thing is one thing and the other people think other other thing is other thing, and you can't try to convince them because once you have faith in your truth and you believe your truth, you're not gonna believe anyone else's. I think the film does a really good job. Uh, portraying that i think stranger cooler is a phenomenal I and mean, well deserved of her oscar nomination she was great this year with that on the zone of interest she is amazing the rest of the people is, are amazing the dog is awesome and it's a good story you know if you want closure of it i mean i guess you'll get something but it's not really about that film's not that's not what the film's about and i i love that i cherish that i i wish i watched this last year honestly but it was one of one of the things on my watch list and i'm glad i watched it this is a really Great film. Then I watched the original Blade Runner, a film that really is a something, I guess. I, I, I feel like I just don't know this film, that I don't understand this film, and it hurts because I really want to understand the film because I want to better understand 2049, so I watched it, and I thought it was pretty good. Harrison Ford is a really good job. I think the acting is really well. The story building is really well. They have an iconic line at the end. Besides that, I feel like I didn't get it at all, so I had to go back and research some stuff, and that got me ready for 2049, but once I got it, you know, I was all in. Uh, it's a fine movie, good world building, sets up the next one perfectly. Blade Runner 2049. One of my most anticipated films. I've seen it everywhere, but I know I had to watch Blade Runner first, and I just really couldn't watch Blade Runner first. But I did it. I watched 2049, and legit Ryan Gosling is literally me. He is literally me this film is great it builds upon the first it builds upon the world building that the first previously acted on and improves it like a sequel sure this is how you make a sequel guys you you take what you had and you make it better this is a better film than blade runner it of Officer K and his, you know, self trying to find this mystery while also trying to find who he is. And, you know, if you're looking for an action film, these films are not for you. It's more of a drama thriller, like psychological thriller. It's great. It's awesome. It's visually beautiful. This is, an, again, another Denis Villeneuve movie. Again, be, slowly become one of my favorite directors. Frank Gosling is phenomenal. There's a really monotone expression here, but when there's times where he doesn't have to be monotone, he really hits that mark. Harrison Ford is good. Supporting cast is good. Jared Letter is really creepy in this film. You can tell this man has an, a knack for this, a knack for storytelling, a knack for visual, visual storytelling at that, at the most. 
Uh, yeah, if you haven't seen Blade Runner 2049, I, I highly recommend the film, especially if you love Blade Runner, if you haven't seen this film, what are you doing? But I'm guessing that you have. Uh, I'm going to go watch more Blade Runner 2049 videos because it is a nearly perfect film. I think that does have some pacing issues. I've, what's is it's definitely something the ending is interesting and uh, ambiguous as well but it it's good it's great and that's it that's all i watched this month again it's you know shorter and shorter but when school is coming to a close i got a lot on my plate so watching movies isn't you know the most convenient time right now but i try my best i think that may is going to be another short month because i'm going on vacation just a heads up but you know i, I want to keep up with these videos and i think these videos are really fun to make because i just talk about the movies i watch because i love watching movies comment below what you guys think did you like my picks? Did you like my tricks? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe, tune in for the castles coming soon, and that's it. Bye bye.